physical intelligence has introduced pi 0.5 which is a generalistic visual language action model so robots have come a long way over the past few years they can perform impressive acrobatic feats dance on stage follow language commands perform complex tasks like folding laundry or cleaning of a table but the biggest challenge in ro robotics is not these tasks but the ability to figure out how to correctly perform even a simple task in a new setting or with new objects so generalization must occur at many levels so imagine that a robot needs to clean your home every home is different with different objects in different places so at the low level the robot must understand how to pick up a spoon by the handle or plate by the edge even if it has not seen these specific spoons or plates before and even if they are placed in a pile of dirty dishes at a higher level the robot must understand the semantics of each task where to put clothes and shoes ideally in the laundry hamper or closet not on the bed and what kind of tool is appropriate for wiping down a spill so this is what the generalization skills which are required for robot so the robot uh, not just should have robust physical skills and a common sense understanding of the environment but it should also be able to generalize at many levels at the same time from physical visual to semantic so this is made even harder by the limited availability of diverse data for such robotic systems so let's look into a little bit of their video over here all right uh can you close the cabinet can you place the dishes in the sink too so here they tested these robots in airbnb in san francisco so this user over here says that can you close the cabinet and a robot goes and closes the cabinet and she then says that can you place the dishes in the sink too is the dishes in the sink too so she just placed the plate over here with the spoon so it's able to identify the spoon pick it up pick up the plate pick up the bowl and place it in the sink and then she asks to clean up the spill so it has to identify where is the spill it identifies that and then it takes the scrubber and it kind of you know cleans up the spill so this is done autonomously it's so it's able to understand in a new environment and it is able to do it so that is the speciality of pi 0.5 okay uh, so they had their previous visual language uh, action model which is pi 0 so pi 0 and other recent uh, vls are evaluated in environments that closely match training but this new model pi 0.5 exhibits meaningful generalization to entirely new environments that is what they say is a significant step towards truly generalizable physical intelligence the model is far from perfect its goal is not to accomplish new skills or exhibit high dexterity but to generalize to new settings so that is what they have multiple examples of videos over here where the model can uh, perform follow instructions of varying granularity all experiments were done in homes that were not in the training data so you can check out these multiple videos so i just put this blog into a summarizer in gemini 2.5 pro just to get a summary of this particular you know vla so pi 0.5 is a vision language model designed to enable robots with open world generalization so the key capabilities are it can generalize or adapt to unfamiliar settings so in a previously unseen home it's able to do tasks such as cleaning a kitchen or a bedroom right and the model controls mobile manipulators to perform various tasks ranging from rearranging objects like putting dishes in the sink to more complex actions like wiping spills with a sponge um, so this is also flexible and how does this work okay so the fundamental principle behind pi 0.5 is training the vla on diverse data sources the approach teaches the robot physical skills semantic understanding context of task object recognition task structure inference and allows transferring behaviors learned from other simpler robots or different environments so derived from a general vision language model pi 0.5 can process combination of image text actions and other multimodal inputs it has hierarchical control outputs basically the model first determines a high level action described in text and then translates into specific low level robot motor commands which are known as action chunks so they have this uh, you know training thing uh, illustration of co-training tasks in this uh, point uh, pi 0.5 recipe 
uh, so which includes robotic data sources variety from many different robot types as well as multi-model data that includes high level subtasks uh, commands instructions and data from the web so you have robot action data so in the wild uh, mobile robot in the wild static robot office static ro general robot data you also have multi-model data like verbal instructions close the microwave sub commands like pick up the mitten object detection multi-model web data so all this is used for training the uh, vla so what they say over here is that 5.5 is based on the pi zero vla but because it is co-trained on tasks that require outputting a variety of label types including actions and text they can use the same model to control the robot at both the high and low level so when we run pi 0.5 they first ask it to output a high level action expressed in text and then ask it to follow this high level action by choosing an appropriate robot motor command in the form of a 50 step one second action chunk of continuous low level joint actions so this approach is follows their recently developed high robot system except the same model is used for both the high level decision and low level motor control in a kind of chain of thought process so that's what they are saying over here of how the inference is done based on an input like say clean the bedroom right uh, so the low level subtask prediction is pick up the pillow then the pick up the pillow is converted into a set of you know robotic continuous actions so this was about pi 0.5 so here are some videos of it generalizing to new homes so you can check out these videos over here these are interesting videos of how the robot is performing actions so this is a new visual language action model from physical intelligence it's more about how can robots generalize to new environments and perform various actions so you can check out this full block to get an understanding of pi 0 0.5 um, so this is like a first step towards developing more generalizable robots hope this video is useful see you in another video